That, that is just, come on. You, really, an egg? Would you actually eat an egg? Yeah, I mean, imagine when I get bigger. Oh, look at that. A little bit of excitement. Look at that brain. Look at your brain. Oh, goodness, it's going to eat it. Oh, my God. Hi. Oh, you're going to eat? Look at that. I wasn't ex Look at that. That is pretty cute. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? I mean, maybe if I held it a little bit so she can grab it. Oh, okay, it's messy. I've decided that it's truly messy. It does like it, though. It does. So that is a variable uh, diet on these guys. We do feed them a lot of different stuff. We feed them uh, rodents, uh, poultry, and like baby, you know, deceased monitors, you know, stillborn and uh, stillborn little snakes. Oh, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> it's confusing her. Well, you can put, hold on a sec, we're going to try like a bigger monster. this. Ready? Yep. Ready. Here we go. Okay, buddy. Let's see if I can offer you. They're very fragile. People were getting upset with us because you were tugging on the, uh... What? People are actually upset that you were doing that. People are uh, so stupid. Well, I'm trying to make sure her fangs get into it. Ah, uh, there you go. So, see? So, you gotta get those fangs going. Oh, my God. She's like, oh, breaking the egg. Here comes the confusion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that. He's like, he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement. Ooh. That face they make. It's like a kid eats broccoli for the first time. Hi. He keeps going back for it though, so it obviously likes it. It's not used to, you know, small little pieces of something. Clearly. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is one of the problems with the egg. It is not. A nice, easy thing to swallow. Well, that's your shed. What if you left some of the egg, like egg, on there on the outside? Okay. Well, what do you well, think about that? Does well, that sound dumb? Some of the egg. It might keep it contained. You know what I mean? I mean some of the hard the, the yeah. shell. Like if you just crack it. Well, that you know could I mean? be. Could be. It certainly wouldn't hurt it. Come here. Ready? Here you go. So the this, this smell is exciting. You just can't hang on to it. Look at that. 
That's a fail. There's a little baby mangrove snake. It just hatched out of its egg. This is Boega dendrophila melanota. Technically, it is rear fanged, but it's not any worry to us. But you can start socializing these guys right off the bat. Getting a lot of tongue flicking, my finger doing this. And you're instilling something and feeling good, nothing to worry it, and you're not putting it in a defensive behavior. So right now it's in very much in thinking mode. Lots of tongue flicks, curious, taking this in. And as this is happening, all of this is being recorded into this little animal's brain. And this is uh, learned behavior. So we're uh, overriding instinctual behavior with positive reinforcement. And this animal's not in any duress. This is all really good. And I can show you this with little baby lizards too. This is Ryopa fenandes. And a little bit of history. So this is an African fire skink. For years, we would see these little little guys in books. There was a time where you could never even see a living one. So for years and years and years in the 90s, we didn't get to even see these in person and they became almost like a unicorn. And then eventually they started uh, importing them and I don't really know why we couldn't get them, but what a fantastic little lizard. So what's really cool about a species like this, this is an animal you can easily socialize so if you watch the behavior, so pausing, now he's holding himself like that. And just like the mangrove snake, you're doing like a supportive type thing. And you're getting this guy to not like, he's not really nervous or anything like that. And you're, you're touching everything. So as you're working with an animal like this, you're um, reverse engineering. This one's one even bigger. These are a little captive. So what you have to do is you're, you have to get them to trust you. And then when they pause and run away. So you have an animal like this that's pausing. And it's right here. Brain clicked on. And it will assess everything. So he kind of pulls like little, little, you know, when I touch him, he's a little shocked by that. And I'll do this little supportive thing. I'm just doing something that's very gentle. All right, he's adjusting himself, which is good. So the trick is to read this animal. Does this animal go into this really defensive thing or it's actually right there. It just kind of, everything's clicking. Tongue flicking, not freaking out. you can actually socialize a little animal like this. Not all, I mean, obviously a lot of lizards you can socialize. Not all of them seem to be really responsive. This is an intelligent species. Uh, skinks are certainly really aware. They're highly active. All right, so when we get, I don't want this continuation of running because we don't want to get the animal thinking that it needs to run away from you to avoid this contact. Okay, so if I do this, yeah, that's great. What the fuck? The, it's scaring all my skinks. That's it's scaring a, me, dude. <laughs> I didn't know Rear did that. I, that. That's unusual. Whoa, bro. <laughs> so remember, you don't want to get this guy into a running type behavior. And you want to manage the head and the first third of this animal's body. And what you're doing, you're trying to touch the animal in a way that doesn't cause it to think it's being predated and not a lot of fear. And you're doing something that's gentle and rather passive and you're getting the animal to turn on its brain. And when it turns on its brain, it'll start 
recording that information. Okay, so it just started flicking its tongue, opened its mouth, that's really good. A lot of times that, that tongue flicking, so I watch that tongue flicking. Tongue flicking says the brain's working. It's now recording. So it's assessing what's happening or, or what I just did and I give it a chance to um, evaluate. And uh, we have this whole thing on threads of trust. So all these little micro behaviors are threads and they're positive. So collectively, positive little threads build a rope and that establishes a relationship. So something like this, which is largely a prey-based animal, it's, it's the prey for other things. Everything else eats these little guys. And obviously they're an easy meal for some, some creatures, but it has a great little brain to it too. Just because a little animal like this is so little, you just gotta find your way around to kinda get, get yourself involved with it uh, I'm not doing anything to cause it to think it's being predated. And I'm just working on that right there. Here's some of our older ones. Look at that. That is absolutely a gorgeous species. Look at that little tongue. So this is an animal you can easily win over. Uh, a lot of people don't even know about these. Hold on, let me get you over here. So when I handle something like that, I do a lot of loose, open hand, but always managing the forward part of the body. All this stuff right here, very passive, might seem like nothing, but actually, when we keep repeating this, so if you did this to this animal ah, for two weeks, you would absolutely see a very notable change in the willingness for the animal to sit still, to uh, tongue flick, a lot more tongue flicking, because as it starts not fearing you, more tongue flicking, uh, less hyperventilating. And what we're doing is we're trying to really get that tongue going. Let's see if I get your tongue flicking. So he's still, he's very hesitant. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm so sweating. It's very obvious. Yes. Is it? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I'm probably worse. Oh, Kevin, Jesus Christ. Why? Wow. You're savage. I don't know. I am a friggin' savage. I'm an animal person. Oh. Animal people are savages. God, you worry me. And I'm going to hunt me some flies. I thought you killed them all in the room. I did. You got anything else you want to say to the camera? Um, Give me a sponsorship from these guys. I feel like we would do a super well. I am a super predator of flies. Bug assault. If you guys don't know what this is, I love this. The only thing that I don't like about it, I mean, the rifle itself is great. It uses salt to create like a buckshot shot for flies, but this top part always breaks. You guys got to fix that. I got to turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on.